All right, so we got all the parts. No big surprise there. 10 lumps of steel. We got 30. We got plenty of leather. We got thread galore. Oh, yeah. All right, shouldn't be a problem. Just how long it's going to take, unfortunately. I can't fix that easily. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the targeted part is just randomized. All right. Um, Hopefully, if we get these made and it works, then we can just say, <laughs> I'll take my watch with me, and we can just say, wait, five hours. Unfortunately, because we're in that lab, it's going to be terrible, horrible. I just had an idea. What would happen <laughs> if I led that guy out of the lab, up to my bike, let him hitchhike on the back of the bike while he tries to hit me, and then I drive him out of the lab area and bring him over to a more <laughs> time amenable location. <laughs> then, uh, you know, clear out the farmhouse and lock him into an upstairs bedroom. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I don't care if he tries to hit me. The amount of time it's going to take him to do any real damage is going to be massive. Uh, I might have to think about that. We'll see how long time it takes time to pass when I do these three, four, five hour wait times while he tries to hit me and uh, we'll go from there. But I might lure him out and deliver him to a new location. Problem's going to be I need to prep the location ahead of time. The uh, the other vineyard we used, we it's a bit of a trip. It's over here, which eh, it's not too bad. Yeah, we'll do that. If it looks like it's going to take too long, if it's working, but it's going to take too long, real world time, then I'll I'll bring him out. We'll take him somewhere. Well, yeah, he might actually die on the trip. He could he could move and get squished or something. I don't think I can leash something I haven't uh, I haven't tamed, and you can't tame these things. I'd have to put a uh, livestock carrier. I can't do the livestock. No, you you can do a livestock carrier because I I did it in the uh, in the Noah's Bazaar battle arc where we captured all those stupid dangerous enemies inside the ark. Hmm. So yeah, I could put a livestock container in and uh, transport them and then let them loose wherever I need to do my dodge training. He could be our permanent dodge training uh, gimp. Um, how far did we make it? 89%. All right, so we'll finish it up in the morning. I'm at 137 pounds. Really? I guess I am wearing a lot of stuff. Get rid of that. Um... <laughs> Rotten canned corn. It's 
since it's all the chain and plate mail, really jumped my, my, my weight up. I like how I'm just sleeping my, my time away out here in the middle of the field with a not enclosed vehicle. Food is getting pretty thin, though. We are just about out. Ugh. I really want to finish this tonight. <laughs> we got two hours left. Um, right, we'll get this finished first. You are now proficient in cobbling. All right, so we now have armored boots over top of our chainmail boots. <laughs> uh, that doesn't give us enough footy protection. So the next thing I would need to do livestock carrier, we just need pipes and a cargo carrier. Don't think that vehicle I was smashing up here had any uh, valid cargo spaces. Eh, let's go see if it works first. I don't know if I cleared this northern vineyard. Let's go take a look at it real quick. Looks like I did clear it. Oh, this is, yeah, we did use this as a base. That means I probably already grabbed the food, but I don't remember on this one if I cleared out the basement. Pickled veggies, and yeah, we essentially cleared it out. Salt water and clean water. Uh, it's going to go bad really quickly. Oh, we'll get some of the fruit down. What's the downside of rope backpack? <laughs> Nothing. Well, it's not actually a rope. 
it's a hiking backpack. <laughs> so, you know, it's not a long rope. Don't get all excited about my long rope holding 58 items. <laughs> it's actually a hiking backpack that's been renamed. So it's got the uh, the normal hiking backpack downsides to uh, grabbing stuff out of it. You don't ever want to use a rope as a carrying option. It's always a worse choice. It takes a huge amount of action points because you're literally tying a knot in the rope uh, to hold whatever item you're, you're wanting to carry. And it takes forever. I mean like a thousand or plus action points to, uh, to wield that item off of a rope. If that's what you're trying to do. All right, once more into the breach, unto the breach. Still got plenty of electric energies. Just keep it on the silent running. All right, great helm on. I'll take off the headlamp when we get there, leave the watch on. Focus is good to start with. I swear. <laughs> what is it about the right arm? What what is it about the right arm? Uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm getting so sick of this. <laughs> uh. Is it all hand damage? Because I forgot to put my hand my my hand armor back on. <laughs> I bet you it's all hand damage. Yep, hand, hand, hand. All right. My bad. My bad. I'm getting getting uh, getting impatient. But why why only the right hand? Why not the left hand? That's a little suspect. Nothing's gotten through in 90 minutes <laughs> of combat. What are we up to? 7 and 75%. I'm going to end up with a broken arm here, I'm sure. Mm, we, I don't think we should be trying to block. I saw, I saw Dodge go up right there.
Now we're basically at the mercy of the slower time frame, but I might be good news. That way, if I hear it make it, ah, we just healed. <laughs> if I hear it uh, hit me and do some damage, I can try to stop it before we end up with a broken, broken arm. Uh, very good, very good. All right, we'll let that run. What are we up to? Eight and sixty-seven percent. Yeah, it looks like we're finally, finally home free. We just gotta suffer the eleven focus. There's just no way to keep that focus up when you're doing this kind of thing, so it's not really something I care about. Uh, we are going to have to sleep, though. And eat. Yeah, it's only taking 14 quadzillion dodges <laughs> in order to get it done, which we knew was what was going to need to happen. Technically, I, I believe you can get, you can go from dodge 0 to dodge 10 using two creatures. The boomer, or the boomer dodge, and the, uh, the crawler here. Just these two creatures. You can set it up in such a way that you can go from 0 to 10 dodge. As you saw, hell of a lot of uh, infrastructure <laughs> investment to get to a point where you're, you're immune to his, all of his damage. So that might take a while. But um, if you're not mutated and you can go get the activity suit, for example, I can't remember. What's the protection ratings on the activity suit? Activity suit, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I think it might be enough at 12. It'd be close. It'd be really close because the activity suit's 100% on every single body part. It doesn't mention, um, mouth and uh, and eyes but I'm pretty sure they're protected as well because it's intended to be an environment suit um, so yeah might be enough might be just grab an activity suit and you'd have it mouth savior uh, I don't have my gear with me as soon as I remind me when I when I stop <laughs> when we get tired and uh, I'll, I'll do that Twelve across the board. You need a hundred percent coverage on every body part with twelve bash. If you can get that, you should be immune to this guy. Whoa! What the hell was that? What just flashed by? <laughs> Something flashed by. Huh. I saw some kind of message flash past there. All right, we're our tired. What did we make it to? We're at, uh, oh my God. I didn't notice. <laughs> Yay. Victory. All right. Part of this taking so long was me just not remembering. I haven't done this in a super long time. Some things have changed, but, um, yeah, I think the thing that took me the longest to, to figure was the uh, the chain armor on the feet having the bottom of the foot with less protection than all the rest of the, the Choss's protection values. <clears throat> Shoggoth now? No, I'm pretty sure Shoggoth can still hit me. <laughs> Shoggoth damage is higher than 12. Uh, and our, our dodge is only 7.9 when we're decked out in all this heavy armor. There's no real point to go into the Shoggoth. I mean, it's not going to raise... My, 10 is max. We can't raise our, our dodge any higher. All skills are maxed at 10 in Experimental now. So we have achieved the ultimate. There's no way to get higher than 10. Every single skill is capped. Hard capped. Not the old soft, soft cap we used to have. All right. We can leave this, this guy now. So we, we proved the, the main thing. You can get to 10 dodge against the crawler. Very easy to get to a crawler. Most labs that have uh, containment rooms like this, a high, high chance you're gonna have access to a crawler. So boomer and a crawler and you can have 10 dodge. Well, actually, technically, just the crawler by himself will do it. You could do it in one character or one creature. 
So just get yourself that uh, 12 protection. That might be that might be interesting to see how quickly I can take a character or anybody can take a character from zero dodge to ten dodge. And the steps would be start game, speed dive, <laughs> uh, 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 distorted lab to get the activity suit. Just race in and race out again with the activity suit as quickly as you possibly can, and then uh, jump into a normal lab with a uh, one of these rooms and dodge away on this guy. Let's see if you can go from 0 to 10 in the minimum amount of time possible. Tell you what, let's let's do this. Let's let's answer the question right now. Let's do some science. We're going to do some science. Spawn, spawn an item, activity suit. Uh Flag. Bit. But we have an activity suit. Drop all the things. Where? Oh, that's right. Player mutate. Hooves. Where? All right, brain. Why do I keep? Oh, it keeps moving it. That's why. That doesn't look like it's covering the face. Does this thing now require a gas mask? Because if so, we're in trouble. <laughs> it does cover a head, but I think he's going to smack me in the head and the mouth. And will it let you wear anything else with the activity suit? There we go. <laughs> it would require you to also get a great helm. Let's go see if we get hit. Oh, yeah. Getting shredded. Do we not get the same protection if it's not turned on? Hmm. <laughs> what the hell? What is... <laughs> All right. Interesting. Foot bottoms. Oh, yeah, it's this thing. That's right. I forgot. All these other parts have terrible protection values. Two for the legs. All right. Never mind. Activity suit's terrible for this. Don't don't worry about it. It's. I forgot they nerfed the hell out of some of these suits. It's much more of an environmental protection suit than it is actually armor. All right. Let's, uh, let's put our stuff back on and put our hooves back on. Oh, got my diver's watch herded. All right, let's get out of Antland. Uh, and I will ponder the situation. We haven't yet been up to the TCL here. Um, yeah, let's stop here, I guess. <clears throat> All right, so let's see if we ditch all the armor. Naked cartoon man. Uh, we got a lot of negative conditions, actually. I was just curious what our dodge would get up to. 
that's not all that much above where we had it. We were up around 12 when we had 6 dodge. 4 levels of dodge is only getting me to 15.5? That seems weird. That seems really weird. Hmm. Totally naked. Okay. Well, let's go take care of all these negative conditions, see if anything changes. I don't know all the things that affect dodge nowadays. Fifteen point five doesn't sound right for ten dodge skill and a martial art that gives you dodge bonus. Grapes. Apricots. Time is it? 6.30? Alright, we'll wait out the, uh, the night time. Keep eating all we can. Well, 16. Probably would have been a good idea to put some more antiseptic and stuff on, but whatever. All right, belly full of grapes. So we are satisfied, turgid, comfortable. We have no negative conditions. 16 dodge. That's with the 1.0 we're getting from uh, dance and momentum. So 14. Does it drop to 14? Whoops, drop to 14 if I turn that off. Yep. Man, that seems weird. I am not impressed with the way that scales. The difference between 6 dodge and 10 dodge should be more than 4 points. Literally, it's 1 point per level, which seems really bad. I think they changed the, uh, the math on how this is calculated. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll ditch. We'll see what we get. There you go. Total naked man. What are we up to? We got one more. Still not where I think it expected it to be. Eh, whatever. I thought I'd hit 18, 19 area at uh, 10 dodge with the bonuses, but uh, I haven't taken a character up to 10 dodge since a lot of the changes they've made. I don't think 17's enough anyway for things like Shoggoths and such. I think we'd still be getting hit fairly often.
So we would still have the problem were we to continue with uh, trying to play this character for realsies. Seeing if um, if we wanted to wear that chain mail and such. Getting uh, the clothing underneath it that would get rid of that speed penalty. That's the last big problem. When our full chainmail set up, I mean, we're sitting at negative 20 because of the uncomfortable negative two for every single piece. Dropping our speed to 80, which is unacceptable. I think it would work well with the flame, flame resistant suit that I was talking about because temperatures are, well, it's early, early in the morning. It's going to get a lot warmer, but um, the flame resistant suits are about five on every body part, which would, uh, would work really well. So we've still got that, I think, to finish out this character's realistic uh, gear set. What are we sitting at? So now we're at 10.3 dodge in a full suit of chain mail and wearing the backpack. So if we figured we were gonna get into a fight and we ditched the backpack and we maneuvered, we'd be at 11 dodge. So we're losing one, not, not even one. All right, um, hmm. so down south over here, we got this larger city. There is a fire station, but this is not actually the best place to try to get the Nomex that I, I've been looking for. I'm going to travel down there anyway to take a look around, but really it, it comes down to the short fire trucks. I don't remember if we ran across any while we were running or driving around. <clears throat> I don't think the TCL has much loose Nomex. I think it's just the um, soldiers and such that... Oops. I needed to go down on the other side of this town. <clears throat> We'd still get wrecked by shock and acid, though. So it's still very much a uh, not complete uh, protective badass build. Uh, that's always true of dodge builds. We have Dodge at 10. Dodge is the only one we went for. The other ones are either can't be done or uh, there's no reason to do it because it's just absolutely mind-numbingly stupid and boring, <laughs> which is... Originally, we were going to try to get three, which was uh, Athletics and Dodge and Unarmed Combat. But what we found was that Unarmed Combat XP is totally busted. It's about 
30 times slower than raising any of the other weapon skills. It's just flat busted. It's been busted since middle October. Well, at least maybe longer than that. That's when it was reported. But there's an open PR about unarmed combat XP being totally busted. Um, so we couldn't do that one. I mean, we've got... <laughs> level, we started at level 3. We're now at level 4, and we made it to 88% at our highest point. We've rusted back a bit, but uh, we could get it back. But, um, yeah, we're, we've made one and a half levels, essentially, with 694 kills. Not all of which were done with uh, unarmed, but the vast majority of that is unarmed kills. So it's just broke, so we can't do it. So that was problem one with my, my three stage, let's get skills to ten. Then the other problem is athletics. There's only one way to level athletics beyond six. I started at six. The one and only way is to go squat in a pool of deep water and tread water for weeks. <laughs> that is the one way to raise athletics. There is no other way, period. Nothing else will do it. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to subject you or myself to, uh, to that nonsense. So that's the second one off the list. And we were, then we were left with dodge, which we just literally 10 minutes ago managed finally to get up 10 skill. So there you go. <laughs> The efficacy of having 10 dodge is in question. I'm not sure it's actually worth it. I think 6 would have been just fine. I think the difference in uh, combat ability between 12 dodge effectively at level 6 and 16 effectively at level 10 means that getting, six, getting to 10 is not even remotely worth the effort. Just doesn't seem like it's going to affect enough combats to really have any any worth or value, given the amount of time and effort it takes to get to it. <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, no, we're learning. And you know, six months from now, things will change, and uh, we'll have to do a new set of tests. Riot control platforms, soldiers. Now, if there's zombies there, the the shooters are going to be out of ammo real quick. So, hey man, unfortunately, unfortunately, we have uh, we have Mr. Acid here. Shoots his stupid darts. Hmm. So. think about this we're in full chain mail currently they're not likely to hit me in the bottom of my foot before I kill them I think only the acid guy would have a chance doing any damage to me and he's tied up on the uh, the platform down there this should give me an opportunity to just walk in and nuke these guys however I want Oh, and of course, as soon as I get in range, they kill the uh, <laughs> the turret. Now I'm going to get shot with acid. Try to get behind some kind of cover. Oh, going for the other turret. The acid guy is what's killing the turrets. The art soldiers can't damage it, but he will actually be able to hit this thing. Um... I don't think I can get in there and hit him without the soldier coming after me. And he'll start darting me as soon as I get... Right there. Ha! Ah! Take that! Oh, hey there, Predator. Uh, unfortunately, the turret just went down. Now I got a Predator, we got Smoke, we got uh, Screecher. So now it's going to get a little icky. What are we at? Still on my slow speed of, of 80. We got protection from a lot of things. I think the Predator, if he lands the blow, might still get the Impaling Strike with some damage through. Let's back off and use the vehicle as partial cover. Come to me, my little chickens. Do I have my gas mask with me? I do. Come on, Predator. Do your leap. 
You know you want to. Who's next? I need to get the gas mask on. Let's try to get this guy before he stuns me, which we did. Well, now we got a bit of a crowd. <laughs> Look at all these things. Damn. Old Town's coming out to play. Um, let's see. Ashen Brawler? Ashen Brawler. I love it. He has, uh, he has smoke mouth. <laughs> Ashen Brawler has smoke mouth. Oh, I'm not sure. Did I? Did he hit me, or did I? Oh, I got my he got my arm. Interesting. All right, going pretty well so far. What do we got left? Nothing in there scares me. Just gotta get that flyer down, and everything else we'll be able to chop up. An acid. We got one acidic zombie. I gotta be a little careful with. Acid zombie. Damn it! <laughs> Flyer's annoying me. I hate you, Flyer. You're getting through my chainmail constantly. What the hell? Oh, I shouldn't have done that maneuver. Oh, I'm auto picking up a searchlight. <laughs> Stop picking up. Yes. Oh, auto features. Auto features. False. <laughs> Can't believe this thing is continuously hitting me in the arm. Do I not have my gloves on again? I don't have my knuckles, but I thought I had everything else on. I do have my gloves on. How the hell is this thing hitting me constantly? Going right through my arm every single time. Ah, into the arm every time. Weird. Bypassing both my, my dodge and my armor. <laughs> well, at least it was torso that time. I think this is one of those that has those proboscis things that get insane penetration values that just bypass armor. It basically pretends you don't even have any. All right, we got to relocate, then I'll take care of the bleeds. Going fine until that stupid one stupid critter. Whoops.
We've got a good mix of protection and dodge value with the combination we've got. It's just the specialized enemies that are always going to be problematic. No matter how you gear up, there's going to be something that's going to mess with you. Pretty much impossible to be completely immune. Even in power armor, uh, you got issues of various types. I'd like to go back and uh, finish checking all the, the soldiers for gear to see if I can get some Nomex, but I don't think I'll find much. Zombie Lich! A Lich! That is a pile of wallets. I don't think things like this. These are all just synthetic and plastic. Kevlar, layered Kevlar, all that kind of stuff, but no no mix. Nah, it's not a pure damage thing. They're bypassing a good percentage of the armor protection as well. He wouldn't be doing as much damage as he was if he was only getting a couple of hit points through. I could have taken 20 hits to get the damage level that uh, he got in two or three if it was just two or three points of hit points uh, overflowing. Oh my god, you're kidding me. <laughs> I've been meaning to come down here for a long time and just, just, just out of sight past what I had uh, previously explored. We have science lab number four. That is two really close together science labs for current day map generation. That is hilarious. Yeah, there have been some changes to the layering rules and how they affect combat as well. I can't remember the specifics on what got changed. <clears throat> but there's some kind of diminishing returns effect with layering that uh, gets, gets input now. We'll go, we'll go take a look at that lab in a second. I still want to fool around a bit. Hey there, Spear Cat Hunter. Battle down. Damn, those guys are fast. Don't think any short fire trucks could fit in any of those. Looks like my easiest approach to that fire station is going to be probably right back here. Hang out here and then just make the diagonal straight up. Even have a pawn shop in between. Two pawn shops. Three pawn shops. <laughs> Three pawn shops, mill surplus, bookstore, and a recycling center across the way. Don't think recycling centers ever have no mix. Well, I can't leave this spear cat hunter behind me. Ambulance, not what I'm looking for. I don't often find ambulances with the items in their, their storage anymore. Although this is a 50% item drop world, but it just seems I'm, I'm finding ambulances with stuff way less often than I, I used to. 
All right. No fire trucks in sight. So it's a little crowded out here. Probably wouldn't hurt anything if I rushed in and set a building on fire in the area. If I like set that on fire, that would pull a lot of the uh, zombies out of the area that I wanted to move through later in the evening. Uh, another recycling center. Yeah, we've we've talked about the gambeson. <laughs> Summertime and Gambeson do not mix. <clears throat> 50 warmth on the Gambeson. 50! Hmm. Problem's going to be maneuverability. I'd probably strip my chainmail off, but I'd have higher maneuverability to get in and light this thing on fire. Definitely not going to fight my way through all this stuff, although 90% of it is not dangerous. I'd be able to kick stomp my way through the vast majority of this stuff. The shock enemy, the dissolutes would be a little rowdy. That would take a lot of kicking. But we could clear most of that probably. It's going to be funny if one of these houses has a tailor basement that has all the Nomex I might want. You have an upstairs. Do you have a downstairs? I, th I don't remember this house design. There could be a downstairs here. Oh heck yeah, six months. Let's go. Speed is 73. Why am I now getting all these sound effects? Um. <laughs> Punch him with my steel gloves. That does not sound like a good, good suggestion. He got in. He got in! I don't believe he has the uh, the damage potential to do any, any actual damage to me. We're dodge training! Ah, oh, cyborgs! Zomborgs! Oh, that's right. They're coming after me because I have a zombie right behind me. <laughs> All right. We should probably deal with this guy. Kick him out the back. Why are these other zombies not going after the cyborgs? Oh, there's Zomborgs, that's why. Duh. There's zombie borgs. <clears throat> Back where we started. Oh, it's this basement. I haven't seen this one in a while.
Well, there's a sewing kit. There's not a big old pile of Nomex. <laughs> it was already open, you bum. You didn't need to break it. Oh, basement. one ah it's the cyborg basement the old uh, auto dock bionic monster basement that now has a pool hey they're broken cyborg hey there auto dock hey look we found an auto dock <laughs> we can get splints we got uh, anesthetic. We got anesthetic. It's been quite a while since I've actually got the auto dock port of this. Usually, it's the uh, the shower room that I end up getting. I don't remember the last time I actually got the uh, the cyborg and the auto dock. Uh, it's a matter of strength plus hooves. Uh, Capoeira is not doing much for that particular thing. It's just strength plus hooves gives you X amount of damage. The hoof attack is a separate thing from the martial art. Yeah, it's fun to reminisce. I haven't seen this one in a while. All right, so let's see. I guess I could just set this on fire as well. Almost easier. Or I could just back off, pass time, get some healing done, try to get in there in the evening. Yeah, that basement doesn't show up too often anymore. There's so many different basement designs, and they're tending towards the newer JSON versions than the older preset built um, basements. That's one of the older versions. <clears throat> that and the, the gunsmith basement and there's a few others that are the old style basements that just show up very rarely nowadays but usually you get the new modular jasonized versions um I'd really rather set this one on fire <laughs> <laughs> 